Wake Forest School of Medicine first opened its doors in Wake Forest, North Carolina in 1902. That first year, a class of 13 students began their medical education in what was then a two-year program. Four decades later, thanks to a generous gift from the estate of Bowman Gray Sr., the school moved to Winston-Salem, became a four-year program, and affiliated with North Carolina Baptist Hospital. Built on a tradition and commitment to innovation in education and research in patient care, the medical school has grown to include physician assistant, nurse anesthesia, and biomedical science programs. It is the cornerstone of a nationally recognized academic medical center, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center. Preparing a collaborative, highly skilled healthcare workforce for the changing world of medicine is a challenge. Through the School of Medicine's curriculum, one of the most advanced in the country, team-based learning mirrors the way medicine is practiced today. Designed with input from students and faculty, the customized training facilities in the Bowman Gray Center for Medical Education feature simulated clinical settings and experiential learning to prepare students for day one of their residencies. Students also benefit from an environment of innovation and discovery. They learn by interacting with clinicians and scientists who are pioneering translational research in critical fields such as population health, diabetes, aging and cognition, and cancer. New training facilities, active learning experiences, leading edge technologies, and groundbreaking research all support the school's core mission to improve health. Since 1941, Wake Forest School of Medicine has trained more than 6,500 physicians, physician assistants, nurse anesthetists, and biomedical scientists. It continues to play a vital role delivering quality care to the people across the region, the state, and the nation, all while working to understand the causes of disease and to discover new ways to prevent and treat illness. We want to train wonderful leaders of medicine, so exquisitely prepared for today's medicine, but well prepared to deliver the care of the future, to know what's coming down the pike. And so being in an academic medical center where they can see the best of today's care, also see what's coming in terms of novel therapies, novel interventions, is critically important. We're defining the curve where discovery, education, and patient care are going.